It has been a really long time since I've made a video, so I do apologize. Um, I'm not sure what was going on. I think maybe there just wasn't going much on with custom ROMs, and ever since ROM Manager, it's been a little bit easier um, from doing things manually and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to show you real quick uh, how to install the Froyo or Android 2.2 software or firmware or whatever rom whatever you want to call it on your phone um pete from uh, bugless beast i'm sure everyone you've heard of them if you haven't he's a great guy um does a lot of fancy work um, he was one of the first ones to release um, a custom rom with 2.2 features on it or for yo frozen yogurt uh anyway um right now i'm running uh, a bugless beast version um 1.0 and I love it. It's real nice. It's honestly um, one of the fastest most glitch free ROMs I've ever used so far um, and this is actually what I've been running probably for about two months straight. I haven't really flashed too many ROMs. Usually I was doing it two to three times a day and now I'm down to you know I've had this ROM for a long time and you notice it's a theme. It's got the next theme on it so um, if you guys really want to know how to do that I can show you some other time but I'm gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Um, Pete made it to where you can download this ROM and install it on any recovery on any kernel. So what that means if you have Clockword or um, or SP recovery, it doesn't matter. It's a uh, it's going to be used under the update zip dot format. Um, if you uh, don't know what that is, I'll I'm going to show you right now. So uh, basically, this is what you have to do. So obviously, you got to download that file. I have the link in the show notes. Um, it will be there until something happens to it, and if it does, I'll know. Um, so download that file, save it to your desktop, and um, then you're going to want to mount your USB. So just grab your USB data cable here and plug it in. Once you're mounted, um, you're going to want to obviously um, go to your computer. So let's go ahead and mount here. Click mount. Once you're mounted, you're going to come up. You're going to see it load on your computer here. Um, there it goes. So let's just uh, open the view files. Um, if you have any sort of update.zip on your on your SD card, just go ahead and delete it. Don't even worry about where it's going or what it's doing. Um, this is the file right here that we uh, downloaded off of uh, droidforums.net. We're going to go ahead and rename it. We're going to rename this update.zip. Remember, just update. Don't put update.zip.zip. .zip. That'll screw it up. I know a lot of you guys have done that. Make sure you're showing the file file extension. See that? Update.zip. I don't need two .zips there, otherwise it'll screw up your installation. Go ahead and drag and drop this to the root of your SD card. Root meaning in no other folder. Once it's done copying, um, you'll be good to go. You're going to want to reboot in recovery mode. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and stop the movie, and I'll see you guys when we boot back up in recovery. Remember to get to recovery, you just um, uh, power off the phone, power it back up, and push X at the same time, and you'll get that menu. So I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, so we're back here, guys. Um, obviously, this is clockwork recovery. Um, I apologize if it's kind of hard to see. Um, I don't have the best camera setup. So anyway... Um, uh, this is clockwork. So what obviously we always want to do first is um, wipe data factory reset. So let's go ahead and do that. Scroll all the way down to yes. And it's going to go ahead and wipe everything. Uh, once this is done, we're also going to go ahead and wipe cache too. Um, because of the fact, um, one of the major installation um, instructions is to make sure your wipe data factory reset and then wipe cache partition. Um, this is a must um, to install this ROM. Um, if you don't, you're going to get massive amount of errors. So, um, let's do, just do it one more time. 
Okay, um, now what you're going to want to do is uh, apply SD card update.zip. Now I'm using the volume keys and the camera button, mind you, just for the people that don't know. Um, basically, this is what you have to do. So um, as soon as that gets going, um, it'll give you a little bar right there on the status. And once it's done, um, we'll... I'll uh, catch you guys back in a few minutes when it's all done. All right, see ya. Okay, we are back, YouTube. Um, this is my very first time trying this ROM out, so please bear with me. If there's any sort of glitches or if I screw up anything, please keep the shit talking to a very small amount. Anyway, um, this is it. This is 2.2 Froyo, whatever you want to call it. Right off the bat, I'm noticing some different features. The search bar is a little bit different. We have this, whatever this is. Um, I honestly don't know what any, I mean, there's some sort of widget here, um, looks like a market widget maybe, a music widget, um, we have five screens to choose from, we are news and weather widget, we have some dedicated keys down here for the phone and the web, I don't know if you can change that, um, you have a, um, obviously a new, um, the same kind of, uh, launcher, the 3D scrolling, which is nice and it seems pretty quick uh, as you can see I'm kind of just scrolling through here very easily um, I'm syncing right now so if it's kind of lagging sorry about that I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can just put one of these in this little launcher down here no I can't so it looks like those are dedicated um, just right off the bat I'll go into settings um, let's go into about phone um, as you can see I am running Android 2.2 um, the baseband is the updated baseband uh, my kernel is right there build number bugless beast version 0.1 um, that's pretty much it guys um, that is how to get froyo or 2.2 whatever you want to call it on your phone um, i'm going to play with it for a couple more days here and maybe do a follow-up i'm not sure um, and let you guys know but uh, right off the bat it seems to be working okay um, i'm not exactly sure um, yeah, so we have live wallpapers, uh, your usual wallpaper gallery. Yeah, okay. Um, not sure how stable it is. Um, I'm sure what I know is that it came from Pete, so obviously it's a very, very good, um, good stable ROM. And just remember, to get this ROM, you got to come to droidforums.net and see this little guy right here that's please donate. Donate some of your hard-earned money because this guy... This guy spends a lot of time on this stuff. He doesn't do it for a living, you know, so keep keep him up, keep him doing it. Um, that's pretty much it, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. Sorry for the uh, little time off I had there, but I'm going to get right back into it with a lot more videos, so stay tuned. Thank you again for watching. Have fun, guys. I don't get that.